hello everyone welcome to my channel today i will teach you how to install linux in your windows system through oracle vm virtual box machine so let's get started search for the virtual box machine in google and you will find the first link as oracle vm virtual box i recommend you to use this one because i think it's the best one so click on this and then click on the download button virtualbox 6.1 click on window host so now it's downloading here as i already have downloaded this so i will cancel it the virtual box is downloaded and now double click on this exe file to install virtual box click next and then click next again again next and yes click on yes and then click install so it will take several minutes now the installation is completed and then click on finish now we have installed the oracle vm virtual box machine and now we will download the ubuntu so go to the google write ubuntu in the search and the first link this is the downloading link of ubuntu then directly go to download and click on download so several ubuntu packages are available but we will download the ubuntu desktop version and this is the 20.04 lts version and we will download this so the download is starting and as i already have downloaded the ubuntu so i will cancel it once you have downloaded the ubuntu then open the virtual box machine and click on machine tab and click on new here you will give the name of the system you want to install so i want to install ubuntu so i will give the name ubuntu and this is the directory which where we want to install the ubuntu and the type is linux because it's a linux based system and the version of ubuntu is 64 bit there are many other options available but we are going to install ubuntu 64 bit and then click next this is the option for the memory that how much of RAM you want to allocate to the ubuntu so i have total of 4 gb of RAM. so i want to allocate 2 gb to ubuntu and then click next so this is the hard disk option so leave this as it is and then click create and it will the recommended size for the, the hard disk is 10 gb then click on create leave this as vdi virtual box disk image and then click next so leave this as it is we will choose dynamically allocated and one the other is the fixed size but we will choose dynamically allocated if you want to know more about the dynamic or fixed then you can read it from here click next this is the file allocated in size this is the hard disk size the recommended is 10 gb and if you want to give it more space then you can change it from here but i will give 10 gb to the ubuntu and then create now we have created the ubuntu and now we will upload the disk image don't click on the start select ubuntu and then click on the setting button because we will change some of the setting so in general these are the parameters we have given during the installation and if you go to advanced here share clipboard and drag and drop change it to bi-directional because in bi-directional option you can copy paste files between ubuntu and the window 10 and then come to system so go to processor 
so in my laptop i have eight cpus so i will allocate four cpus to ubuntu and then come to display leave this as it is and come to storage here click on this empty and then from here click on this disk image and choose choose a disk file here we will upload the disk image that we have downloaded from the ubuntu server so search for the download file so this is the disk image i have downloaded so load this here now it's loaded here and then leave the other things as it is and then click on ok now it's ready to install ubuntu click on start we have to wait because it's checking the disk for any error and if there is no error found then it will proceed to the next step if your disk doesn't have any problem it then you will get this window so here are two options try ubuntu or install ubuntu so we will click on install ubuntu but before this here choose your language so i will check english and then click on install ubuntu this is the keyboard layout so i will keep this as default because i want english keyboard and then click on continue you can choose your own language and whatever keyboard you like and here i will choose normal installation and here download updates while installing ubuntu check this checkbox and click continue and you can also check this box to install third party softwares for graphics and wi-fi hardware and additional media formats and then click continue in this step leave this as default erase disk and install ubuntu this will delete all your programs documents photos but don't worry because it's going to be installed in your virtual box machine it will not be installed on your hardware so don't worry about this and click on install now click on continue here select your, your region so i will select my region and then click on continue here you will give name to your ubuntu so i will give my name and here i will choose password for my system confirm your password and then click on continue so the installation is started now the installation is completed now and i will click restart now it will restart the ubuntu so it will give you the message please remove the installation medium then press enter this is my username and i will click on this and here i will give my password and press enter now the ubuntu is ready to use so it's enough for today and let's meet in the next lecture take care